morning, everyone. This is Jeff Grasto with Braun Industries. We're here in New Orleans at EMS World. I'm standing here with Justin Jarvis with Pinnacle Emergency Ambulance Services, our dealer for the Arkansas, Louisiana, excuse me, Arkansas, Missouri, Kansas, and Oklahoma area. Uh, we're going to show off an ambulance for Christian County Ambulance District Service. And um, Justin, thanks for being with us. Great, great to have you here. We're going to walk around and show you some of the specifics of this unique feature. We're going to start off in the front. Justin, want to tell me a little bit about this car? Sure. So Christian County is in southwest Missouri, like Jeff said, in the Springfield area. Uh, they've been a Braun customer now for four years. This is actually their eighth truck that they've uh, purchased from Braun, so they're you know, a really loyal customer for us. We uh, really enjoy working with them. Uh, this particular truck is a Chief XL on an F554x4 chassis. One of the unique features of this truck is a uh, Fab Force replacement bumper and grill guard that you put on the front uh, to protect that front end during uh, deer strikes or any other kind of uh, lower impact strikes that they may have with the front of the vehicle. Um, we've got uh, Wheel and M Series uh, grill lights on here. There's uh, also, in addition to the standard wheel and electronic siren, we have a uh, Federal electro Electronic Q, the additional speakers down here. Uh, we have air horns on the side of the uh, fenders as well as uh, wheel and howler. So a lot of uh, warning devices built into the front of this truck to uh, make it more visible uh, and being able to be heard. The other unique feature we have is actually a jump start box right down here. So in the event that the truck needs to uh, either get jump started or assist another vehicle, they're easy, easy to uh, plug a cable in there and jump start without actually having to open the hood for that. So a really nice unique feature that this particular truck has. Um, as we go around the side, again, you can see that we mount the air horns up on the sides of the fender. Uh, it protects them where they're, uh, they're up out of the way in case uh, um, of snow or anything like that that can get caked into the front bumper area. It protects those um, where they're easily uh, accessible. Inside the cab, we've actually got a custom cab console that we designed for them with a recessed radio and also a Havis uh, tablet mount up on the dash where it's easy to, uh, to be ac accessed for dispatch information. Tried to make the cab as er ergonomic as possible for them and still allow them to get all their electronics uh, within hands view. Excellent. Standard cabin here for our oxygen compartment. We have bronze EZO2 lift in the uh, in the oxygen compartment. Will accommodate either an M or an H size uh, O2 cylinder. Um, the OSS2 is a nice large uh, open storage area, and we also have their air horn pump mounted in the ceiling of the compartment and protected. Yep. Nice large compartment. Back to OSS3. OSS3, we have a uh, stair chair bracket on the door. They carry their stair chair, and then on the back wall, they carry a Zoll Auto Pulse. So this compartment um, is able to accommodate both of those large pieces of equipment. Uh, makes it real easy to uh, get access to those larger, heavy pieces of equipment from the outside of the truck. In the rear of the truck, again, a Wheelan M Series uh, warning light package. We also have a recessed backup camera above the rear doors. And we also left space up there for an additional camera to be mounted for the recording system uh, that gets done uh, after delivery. That's pretty unique to be recessed. Yeah, it's, it's nice having it recessed so when they're washing the truck with brushes, they don't take uh, the uh, possibility of actually knocking that off the yep. back of the truck to handle. Yep. Okay. Backboard storage uh, in this area, also KED storage, long, long uh, splint storage back here as well. So we have a lot of uh, room back there for those pieces. And then, of course, one of the large selling features uh, for Christian County with the Braun is the Easy Glide sliding door on the side here. Standard Braun feature on all models. And then a nice large inside outside um, OSS number no. 5 ALS cabinet compartment up on the side here as well. Now, one of the features they're not going to be able to see here on screen is one of the uh, features that you add to a lot of your rigs that I wanted to also discuss as well. You have the motion sensor. Right, uh, so the way the truck's set up when it's powered down, if they open either of the outside doors to step into the truck, we have a motion sensor that's built in up above the street side cabinetry. So instead of having to reach in and turn on a timer or activate the electrical system, it'll automatically come on when they get in the truck. Anytime they're back there working, as long as they're moving around, uh, the lights will stay on for them so they don't have to reactivate the system every 5 or 15 minutes, whatever the timer's set at. Once they're finished cleaning the truck, restocking, whatever they're doing on the interior, they close the doors and then the timer will time out, shut everything down after 5 minutes. Perfect. Alright, we're going inside. Welcome back.
back, everybody. We're inside here. We're with the, uh, our dealer, Justin. We're going to talk a little bit more about the inside of this rig as well. Justin, let's start off with the back and part inside here. Um, tell us a little bit about what we have going on. Yep, so we have a refrigerated drawer uh, up on the front area there. We spin that seat just a little bit. It allows that, uh, that drawer to go ahead and open up, and they carry uh, any medications that need to be refrigerated up in that area. Have our electrical cabinet over to the side there, which is really easy to access and get to. One of the other unique things that we did for Christian County on this truck is we moved their air conditioning unit actually over above the uh, ALS cabinet so that when the medic's seated on the squad bench area, the, uh, the air is actually able to uh, uh, be directed directly on them and they're, they're able to stay cool or warm uh, a lot easier. Over on the uh, street side, we have the Valor uh, seat back. We also have the Valor attendant seat up here with the single point um, harnesses so it makes belting into the truck uh, very easy for the medic and also unbelting quickly when they need to. When they're, uh, when they're belted in, it gives them good free motion to uh, still be able to do patient care like they need to. Um, so it's an uh, enhanced safety feature on these particular trucks. And what we just showed there, Justin, just so everybody on the camera knows, that that is the motion sensor device for us. In our street side upper cabinets, we did some customization for them here, put in a fixed divider with some, uh, some, some movable dividers where they can set those as opposed to having to put uh, individual bins in the truck. They can actually just move those dividers and store what they need to um, awesome. in between there. And we did that above the uh, action area cabinet as well for nasal cannulas, non-rebreathers, uh, any of their innovation supplies can all be put up there and, and nicely organized. In the main action area, we uh, put a uh, custom NARC box in with a Compex lock. You see that right up in that area. So that typical space in an action area that may not be used, we actually incorporated that additional cabinet in there to utilize as much space um, as possible for them. And then their main suction unit is also a portable suc suction. So they're able to uh, snap that in, charge it while it's in the truck, or take it into the house with them if they need uh, that piece of equipment inside. Below the second action area, we have a couple of storage drawers for them. Uh, and then an additional shallow cabinet at the back side here where they keep trauma supplies. Over on the curbside, we have a pretty unique layout for them over here. Uh, we went with a uh, short bench design with another Valor seat back. Um, this seat back was actually strategically positioned so that when the cot's in the truck and the head of the cot is lifted, um, it's in a good position for them to be able to start an IV converse with the patient and uh, and be seated and properly belted uh, when they need to be. This custom cabinet the head here has a recessed pocket where they carry a Pelican case uh, with additional supplies in it. That's that a was, unique uh, feature right there. Very unique. It was yeah. sized properly just for the case that they carry. Um, was a nice custom feature for them. And then we also have a drawer here with a IV warmer tray built in where they can keep their bags of saline and keep them uh, warm and easily accessible when they're over on the side. At the back of the um, unique location there as well. Yeah, the uh, squad bench, we actually have a built-in cabinet, the additional Vista control panel, and their two-way radio, as well as their sharps and trash, so that they uh, are able to, there again, remain safe, safely belted uh, and still access all of these pieces of equipment over on the side. And then this bench also does have some additional storage uh, under it for uh, some smaller objects that you would have under there. Uh, this truck, of course, does have the striker power load like most of our vehicles do now, but an additional feature that we added was the floor plates at the head end and also at the rear for a uh, bariatric ramp and winch system. Um, in the event that they need to carry a, a bariatric patient, they're able to uh, mount the ramps onto the back plate there, put a winch up on the side here, and it will actually winch the uh, cot up into the truck. Excellent. Excellent. Anything else look at in regards to the break? Um, there again, we just appreciate Christian County's business, um, very loyal customer of ours, and uh, we love showing their trucks because they're very, very unique, very pretty trucks, and uh, um, they're just a great customer for example, emergency vehicles that we're on. Yeah, it's one of the prettiest trucks here. Nice job. Nice job. Fine. Let's say thank you to everybody that's been attending the EMS World Conference this week. If you have any further questions, feel free to stop by our booth. Love to see you. We'll be here until 1 today. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Take care.